gets himself into a bit of trouble. Long lead and nice mark taken by O'Dwyer. He wheels around and sends the balls inside forward 50 for the first time. And an easy mark going back with a flight for Martin. Tough angle. It's a beautiful kick and he likes it off the boot too. First goal of the game. First blood to Queensland. And I just thought that was great work there by young Willow Dwyer from Noosa, the small forward. Pushed down, had already had a couple of key possessions with that kick going inside 50. Uh, well weighted and hit Martin right where he needed it. Backs himself from here. Short one. Finds a man in Powell Freeman. Who wheels off to Russell. Sends the ball inside forward 50. Trying hard. Through with pace was Cole. Siggins got a hands free. Quick kick forward is Hines. And then Tompkins. They play on quickly. Ashton sends it short, man. It's chopped off as easy as you like by McGuinness. I beg your pardon, it's actually... Yeah, it is McGuinness. And here's Jake Hines now on the wing. Has some room to manoeuvre. And he's got Cox on his own. Cox plays on, streams into goal. End to end in the blink of an eye. Just great ball use there. And finished off by the Tassie skipper in style. He was never going to miss. In Simpson, Simpson went short to Tomkinson. He didn't take the mark. He slipped. Williams sends the ball inside 450. Out the back. This will be a goal or a free kick. Bowman will take the free kick. Infringed upon by Elijah Reardon. In comes Bowman. And he sends it home as he should. And the crowd goes mild. Siggins gets his kick away, sends it inside the fort. 50, Hines almost taking a mark. Leary swooping, his handball just a little too hot though for McGuinness and they charge back the other way. Low grubber from Aston but finds the target and now peeling out the space is Fletcher. But gets out the back, it's a certain goal. It does, Fletcher strides in and draws first blood in quarter number two for the Maroons. Will want to rush it through. Doesn't have to in the end. He's able to just exit out the other side. And he'll carry it out of defence. He goes looking for Leary, but he burnt him. Overhit him on the kick. Not a good one. Went straight to Dawson. Dawson sends him inside the Ford 50. The spoil came, but the jumper grab was spotted. Will it be an advantage paid? No, it'll be coming back. Chance to extend their lead to 15 points here. For the first two goals of the second quarter. He kicks from 45. Looks good off the boat, straight through the middle, and they get their fourth of the afternoon. McLaughlin driving it through, and they lead this one by 15 points. Harry sells some candy, gets past Eddie Cole, or does he? Just got his handball away. McGuinness picks up the footy, and here goes Walsh. Walsh flicks the handball out, trying to gather it. There's Bailey Bogue, showed some composure, got it to Cox Goodyear, blasting for his second, and that'll lift the North Highlight crowd. The Tassie skipper drives through his second of the afternoon. Bailey Bogue with the setup work, and it's back to nine points the difference. And he drives them inside the Ford 50. Donnelly was in a wrestling match. The ball fell to him, slapped it on the boot. Leary now marks it in the bullseye. He wheels off onto his right and gets it deep. Tompkinson in a one-on-one. -on -one. He has position, the big fella. Couldn't complete the mark, but he'll get the free kick. And that draws the roars of the crowd. Tompkinson. He's an imposing figure and a booming kick. He can go back to cap the margin to three points, Big Jack. And he does just that. Gives it the double fist bump. It's the crowd up and about again. Tasmania 4-3-27. Just keeping touch with Queensland, who still lead. Great defensive work there by Queensland, Jack. Yep, yep. They're under the pressure. Siggins takes it out of the ruck and throws it on the boot. Outstanding! Sam Siggins with his first. The fifth for Tasmania, and it puts them in front late in the second term. He's made a real habit of doing this in the TSL this year, Sam Siggins. He's kicked a number of goals in this way, and even uh, just out of the, the middle, he's up there, I think, in the top three in the competition for centre clearances, and that's precisely why. So often he just takes it out of the contest with strength and gets boots a ball. Lee, as easy as you like. Playing in front, wheels around. Sends it down towards Siggins, who's held off the footy umpire. Saw it. The Queensland under tremendous pressure. They've got about six inside 50s. It's just a matter of time. For his second. Pounds it home. 
first goal of the third term goes to Tasmania and they're out to a two goal lead. Queensland just with a little bit of a surge here in the last few minutes, a few inside 50s. Can they get a goal to show for it? Well, they will. If, yeah, that casual backs to Norton and he scored holding the football. Just did not have that long. McLaughlin. Just when Tasmania was starting to get on top, it's been a good response from Queensland. Can they get the goal to show for it? They do. He steers it through and they're 5 7 37 back within five points. Tasmania leading 6 6 42. And Bachelor do battle in Townsend. It's Elijah Reed and Lay's oh. attack will action resuming the crowd really finding their voice. Brock Aston slaps it on the boot and drives Queensland forward. Approaching it's McLaughlin. Might fall there for Revel. Handball to him. Reveal turns onto the right. He fires to the line and it just drifts across the face. And it's in. Revel. Has knotted this one up. 6-7 plays 6-7. And Queensland just get on with the business of scoring a goal whilst half the ground was uh, more occupied with the WWE match that was uh, taking place. Kicks to the contest. Looking for big Alex Lee who's just worked underneath it there by Williams. He goes back in looking for Rebel. Show too much of it though to Cousins. He picks it off at half forward. He sends it inside 450. Leary will go back with a chance to put Tasmania ahead. An exciting young forward, Brandon Leary. He will have had a few bigger kicks than this in his career to put Tasmania ahead in the final term. He sends it on its way. He sends it through the middle. And it's Tasmania by a point in the last quarter. That's the start they ordered. 7-7-49. Seven, seven, they lead Queensland 6-12-48. Play continues back into dispute in the middle and Queensland coming away with it through the middle. Uh, Franks moved it on. They'll drive it deep. They've got men everywhere. And one of them was Townsend who just peeled off the back of the contest. And they were exposed back the other way there, Tassie. So he's missed two. So he probably should have kicked Jacob Townsend. To restore Queensland's lead, he kicks from 40 out. This time makes no mistake. He drives it through and the Maroons lead this one by five. Lee and Bowman do well. Quick run by Palfreman. Off to Cox Goodyear. Elijah Reardon sends the ball inside forward 50. Hines was yeah, held yeah, yeah. and the umpire saw it. It was Jake there. Hines. It was there. It was a good one-on-one -on -one battle, but he just grabbed the front of his jumper. I think the replay will show soon. And this one for Jake Hines to put Tazzy even kinder. Here we go. It's through the middle. The crowd really into it. Scores level at North Hobart Oval. And that typifies what this game's been about. Sun setting now. Artificial light taking over at the ground. It's pretty dark out there. But it's Tasmania by a point as it's thrown back in. Siggins out on the right. Sammy Siggins on the left. It's drifting towards the goals. Sammy Siggins, you superstar. He does it again. And he's mocked by his teammates as he kicks Tasmania seven points clear. Let's take a look at this. Outstanding out of the ruck. Worked his man under the ball. And on the left foot too. The accuracy, and doesn't Jake Hines love it? Don't the Tasmanians love it? And doesn't the crowd love it? Ball up. Queensland must go. Tomkinson down to O'Donnell. He got trapped with it. Avent over the footy. The and there goes the siren. Tasmania have won. Tasmania 9-8-62 defeat Queensland. 7-13. A sensational last quarter, three goals one to one goal two in the last to get Tasmania across the line by seven points. What a game of footy. Boys, I've got Sam Siggins down here on North Hobart Oval. Siggo, how did that feel? Oh, it was very special. It was, um, yeah, it was a tough contest, a bit of a slog, so I'm proud of the boys. They played the Tassie way and um, yeah, it's good. It's a special time for Tassie footy and I'm glad we could get it done. What does it mean to you to pull on the map? Oh, it's massive. It means everything. I think we should do it more often, but 
considering what's going on around the country and with the stadium and everything like that, I think this is a special moment. And um, no, I love representing the map, map and the people as well. It's good. Sam, a couple of goals out of the ruck. <laughs> Brilliant stuff, mate. To put your boys up by seven points, what were your thoughts running through your head in the last few moments of that quarter? Yeah, it was a tough one. I've been, I haven't been playing much forward this year, so I was. I found it tough like, to have a bit of patience up forward and wait for it to come, but I'm glad I took my opportunities and, um, yeah, we could get it done. I thought across the board, the whole team all contributed. What was it like leading into this game for the boys, considering you come from all around the state? I was massive. Like, Matt brought us in as a group and all the other coaches, Ace, Trent, Adam um, and the rest of the crew. Um, and we just had a really good really good vibe. Like, I think that's really special like, that we show that we can have it. Like, potentially down the track, have a VFL side and obviously an AFL side down the track and it's um, look at the people around here, like, it's bloody special. So, What do you got to say about Queensland? Yeah, they're, they're a bloody good side. Um, they're very fit and they um, they run hard, so um, they've got some quality players and my opponent I played on was unbelievable and um, no, I'm glad they came down for the contest. What does it mean to have this many people at North Hobart over to watch? Oh, it's massive, it's so special. Um, it's nothing like 1990, but it's... It's fucking, it's, oh sorry, it's, um, it's so special. Um, no, I'm pumped. It couldn't be any better. The noise, yeah. loud here, mate. Yeah. Did that get you boys yeah. across the line? Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, sends tingles down the spine when, you, when, when um, the crowd's echoing like that stuff, so it's good. We'll let you go, Sam Siggins. Congratulations, excellent work. We'll try and get a few more players as we move around here. Bryce Walsh. What does that mean to you, mate, to have the map of Tassie on your chest and get a win here in front of 7,000 people, 7,000 Tasmanians here behind every single one of you? Mate, it's unbelievable. I played in uh, two previously before today and didn't get a win, and, you know, this is the best feeling. We'll remember this for a long time, and uh, this will go down as history for Tassie. The AFL team's coming, and, and we're here today and won. Good on you, Bryce Wilde. Sensational stuff. We'll go and grab Luke Russell. The boy from Penguin. Yes. What did that mean, Luke? Oh, it meant everything, mate. It was a massive game for the state. I think we had to win it, and um, we pulled through in the end. It was an unreal feeling. So. A little nervous at the end there, mate? Yeah, it went for too long, that last five, six minutes. Um, but, yeah, Sigo did a great job with that goal. We just played our role today, and it was all for Tassie, so, yeah, it was unreal. What does it mean for you to put the map on? Mate, it means everything, to be honest. Pulling it back on again. Um, I don't know if I'll get a chance to do it again, but it means everything. So, let's do it for the state, for everyone. Um, it's unreal. Brilliant. Go and enjoy yourself. Thanks, Josh Arnold, you got your little one in your arms too. What does that mean? Oh, mate, that's uh, yeah, it's pretty special. Uh, you've, you've just got to look around here now. Like, the amount of support uh, for Tassie footy and the map. You know, we, we had a, uh, a big job to do today. You know, there's a, a lot on the line, not just for, for Tassie, but for the whole of Australia. The eyes are on us. And, um, you know, credit to the boys. You know, we played hard Tassie footy and it's, it's great to be a part of. What does it mean for you to put the map on? Oh, mate, it means everything. You know, I've just turned uh, about to turn 31. You know, this is fourth time lucky for me. And, um, you know, when Matt gave me the call Monday and, and told me I was playing, I was, you know, over the moon. You know, this is what everyone wants to do. They want to represent their state. This, this, uh, this jumper means so much to so many people. So, uh, yeah, absolutely honoured to, to wear it, mate. So, go and enjoy the win with the boys. As we hear the you captain... Boys, uh, cracked in as we expected. Um, fantastic game and scoreboard in the end. You guys got the chalky, so well done. To our boys, look, fantastic effort. Um, six weeks up and down the coast was uh, nothing short of a big effort for our boys and uh, really proud of everyone today. So thanks to all the coaches in AFL Queensland. Um, first of all, thank you to Queensland making the trip down to beautiful, cold Tasmania. Um, I know the day dash was all right, so um, and thanks for the game. It was a ripper and... Um, I know we definitely got something out of it. It was a, it was a beautiful contest. Um, to our boys, um, back to, backs against the wall, obviously lost Froffy's late, and I think that just represents the Tassie spirit, the way he put his noggin over it, and um, the way we fought, fought late and, and was able to get the result. And, and lastly, thank you to everyone coming out and supporting us. It's, um, it was a fantastic day. We really appreciate all your support, so thank you. Uh, firstly, again, thanks to all the fans who come out and support your own state in Tasmania. It's great to see a cracking game of footy that could have gone either way at any stage in the game. It was an arm wrestle the whole time. So to Mav and Brad and the boys, congratulations on, on your achievement for today. To our boys, um, super effort, get away as a group and, and come together. And showcase Queensland footy is, is what we're expecting today. And that was an outstanding achievement by our boys. Super proud as the coach um, and look forward to many more tussles to come in the, the, the coming years. Our best player, we thought, was number 25, Adrian Williams.
Yeah, Williams played very, very well all throughout that game. I thought he was an absolute rock of Gibraltar down back. It's good to see a Tasmanian getting best on for Queensland <laughs> as well. The end of moment. I feel Taz and I feel Q for making it possible to, to, to run this event. Um, really special day, obviously, for Tassie footy. So, uh, to Lee, congratulations, mate. I thought you guys are super. Um, and, and in the end, I think we were pretty lucky to get away with it. Um, to our boys, well done. It's, uh, it's been uh, a real privilege Ooh. Um, to coach over the last three weeks, and you've done a great job and, and represented the map, map proud. So, congratulations. Uh, our best on goes to Sammy Siggins. Yep. Three goals. Owned the moments, as you said. Jack, he was fantastic. Lynch medalist last year, just a bit more hardware for him, and uh, I reckon, tell you what, he may be well on the way to winning that one back-to-back. -back Congratulations, Sigo. I know well, the players will appreciate that, because they Everyone can drink out of it. Everyone please acknowledging the Tasmanian side, winners of today's men's state game here at North Hobart Oval. Well, there we go. What an outstanding game of footy.